welcome this is the energy vibration um, reading for the Sun moon and rising this is the um, second quarter of the year 2018 and in the second quarter of this year we have to deal with the month of April May and June of the energy vibration for the second quarter I want to say thank you to each and every person the energy vibration for the second quarter is going to be the energies of uh, the fire energy movement this quarter is a, a quarter of movement and the energy of the the chariot the energy of the chariot comes to move a lot of people are going to be moving a lot of people are going to buy new cars a lot of people are going to be transiting and transiting is that you're vibrating in a different energy vibration you're going to be seeing things as it is it is so far one of the best best quartals that I'm seeing here behold from the general reading but for you guys it's very very wonderful because you have the energy of uh, three beautiful energies you'll be working with a lot of people in the squatter whatever is happening you're going to be working with a lot of people you have um, a hurt energy and this is good because what is transpiring is that this um, quarter is fire and hurt and you are working with a lot of people in this quarter to resolve a lot of situations so you have the energy of the hermit with the energy of the hermit you have a hurt energy in the for in April and then you have the Sun in May which is wonderful and then you have I'm trying to figure out you Libran's birthday which is the end of the year and then you have the wheel of fortune now um, the energy of the Sun you guys over here sign and that is the situation that is going on for you guys because you guys are hair sign so we have to really look at the situation what exactly has transpired and what exactly is happening it is good because in the month of April your financial situation is going to be very balanced and uh, um, whatever you need is going to be very balanced in the month of April you're going to be working with organization an organization a new organization for some people are starting a new job um, and for some people you're materialistic whatever um, it is that you're trying to balance out uh, make sure that you have a stable balance with your materialistic things it is going to be happening for you because what is going to be transparent is that energy is a nurturing energy but yet still it is an energy of bringing forward what it is that you need so you're going to be a lot of you will be receiving help from organization in the month of April what you have to deal with also in the month of April is a victory and a success so you're overcoming all the obstacles that was blocking your materialistic world and this is going to be good month of May it's a wonderful month just about everyone gets positive energy in May you have the energy of the Sun um, there is going to be a successful outcomes whatever the situation is that you have to deal with other people and that sort of a thing this can be a very good a positive outcome to the situation and this is going to be positive because some of you really need this positive energy so if you're dealing with an organization in the third quarter you're going to win and you're going to win good because um, you you know whatever is transpiring and whatever that has been happening this is going to be a good win because you have the energy of the wheel of fortune that is going to be coming in June so June is going to be a positive month I've seen this for a lot of Librans that May is going to be very good for you Librans because the energy vibration of your sister sign is having their birthday so May is going to be good and the beginning of June and the, the month of June is going to be a very positive month because the Sun and the Wheel of Fortune means that um, whatever you were going through is going to be looking how much better for you in the month of in, in, in the month of um, the two last month of these quarters so that's a lucky break that is coming in for a lot of you people so okay let's look and see whatever that was happening and whatever that is transpiring you are going to see the energies that are coming the two last week of april and the two last 
the first week of May you have the energy of the nine of cups your wishes and your dreams are going to be coming out so this is going to be extremely good your wishes and your dreams are going to be coming out because um, the two last week of April and the two first week of May is going to be good because the nine of cups is um, not only um, emotional things but it's positive energy because whatever the situation that was happening that you were trying to work out with a group of people and that sort of a thing your wishes and dreams are going to be coming out because you're going to be realizing that um, um, whatever that has transpired now um, they are seeing um, the situation for what it is and it's like people are really um, trying to help you with whatever that has transpired between the um, the two last week in May and the two first week in June you have the energies of uh, another cup energy so uh, right away we're seeing that you are going to have some emotional situation and it's going to be good emotions the four of cups so this four of cups is wonderful because you can look and see um, four of coins I'm sorry that's why I put my glasses on this four of coin is beautiful because what is happening is that you're looking and seeing all far um, it's as if you were holding on to whatever you have you're really really holding on to whatever you have because you're looking and you're seeing all of this behind here is a lot of money it's gold it's a lot of money and you're seeing that this person is looking and saying oh my god I cannot even imagine that I'm receiving all of this and this is good because what is transpiring and what is happening for you Libran is that whatever the situation is whatever the financial block that you have um, you Librans have been having you are seeing now a positive outcomes to that financial block so if you had a situation in um, last year where your financial situation wasn't so good um, whenever it comes to the end <clears throat> the end of uh, um, May and the beginning of June this is just going to be extremely extremely fantastic this is just going to be really 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 fantastic it's just going to be good it's a positive reading it's an extreme positive reading this is one of the most wonderful readings that I've seen so far um, so it, 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 it is um, let's see now what is your outcomes to this month and your outcomes is the nine of one you're spiritually protected and isn't this good this is just um, the energy of this um, kind of caveman man um, and and he's standing and firm and he's protecting you so whatever um, the has transpired with your world and with groups of people with organization and that sort of a thing you are seeing now that you are spiritually protected the number nine is going to be your energy vibration this is going to be a perform positive quartals for you guys because what is happening and what is transpiring here is that the energies of whatever the blockage was in your financial situation whatever that was holding back um, your financial flow it is coming in because you have the Sun and the wheel of fortune you have the Empress the Sun and the wheel of fortune so this is saying to you that your materialistic situation is going to be good it's going to be positive because working with organization is going to bring you because if you look at this organization it's as if the intuition wisdom of this organization because you have the unicorn you have the hull which is um, um, these people are working on in a positive um, way uh, so there are um, groups of people who are sitting down and looking at the situation and seeing what has transpired and they're going to help you to um, balance out your financial situation this is a really really wonderful um, 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 reading I don't even have to ask any question here because it is obviously that you um, liberals are going to be having wonderful situation because um, some of you um, um, whatever your materialistic um, whatever you needed if you needed a house if you needed a new car if you needed um, financial help if you needed to find a, a good job whatever you need to help you with uh, um, um, to, to whatever you you need to help you with um, surviving your survival it's gonna come in for you and 
um, there is a sort of protection but because as you look at this protection this is a sort of protection that is coming up nine of ones is always a sort of protection and as you look it's as if your spirit guides are standing there and it's protecting you in at whatever is coming at you it's as if you stand protect and uh, they're standing and protecting you and guarding you without you even knowing um, as we look forward towards because that is the beginning of the, the month and um, the period which is April as we look at the end because in the middle of the month which is the month of May a month of May is going to be extremely positive for you guys it's going to be so positive because your wishes and dreams about your financial balancing out your financial situation holding on on to what you have because you want to move so a lot of people who are looking to go on vacation a lot of people who are looking for a new start a lot of people who are looking to find a new place to live a lot of people who want to, um, to change their own um, their stability their their their, their fin, um, uh, stability with their family to make sure that their families are okay money will be coming in it's as if whatever you wish to for is going to be coming in the end of uh, April and the beginning of May whatever you have wished for is going to come in at that time at the end of uh, um, May and the beginning of June you have the Sun and the Wheel of Fortune with um, the four of Pentacles this is good that means your money whatever money whenever your financial situation is it is going to be okay because it's going to work out for you this is wonderful I don't need to ask a question so we're just going to move forward transition you have the number seven energy um, number nine is going to be your energy vibration it's like 99 is like um, the ending of something and a new beginning is coming in and you have the energy of transition which is the number seven energy this is a powerful energy because this is the activation card <clears throat> the frequency the transition and the activation frequency of transition supports the deep understanding of uh, the ever-changing natural and existence of our lives so that we can learn to let go surrender to the process and allow transition to occur with ease and grace so here is this card it's a wonderful beautiful card and the, the energy is on it you have the purple you have the energy of purple and um, um, purple is a protective energy it's very good you can call up an Archangel Zachiel um, and Saint Germain to bring in the gold and silver violet flame so this is going to be good because you have the energy of purple and you're bringing in the gold and silver violet flame if you can look in the middle there is a white light it's like there is an a, a positive light at the end of the tunnel whatever you were going through there is a positive light coming up at the end of the tunnel because there's a transition that is coming in for you you can go back to this video and stop this video and focus because this is an activation card for you guys and you are going to be activating it remember we're working with the ascension deck so and um, it's all about you um, liberans trying to heal the um, honor and respect all animals and um, then you're saying what do you mean um, honor and respect all animals is when we stop eating meat when we understand that these animals are here to go through an ascension process just like us that we are working and it says like humans animals have the earth uh, animals on the earth is on their own soul journey um, originally from many different planets and universe some animals are here to learn while others are here solely to teach or enlighten us as human being okay because they are heart-centered animals on this planet are designed to have experience that are different from ours so, the way in which we treat animals profoundly affect their ascension part as well as ours your guidance is today is to call upon Archangel um, Theocene the angels of animals uh, 
um, to look after them. Call upon Archangel Michael to protect the animals on this planet and the unicorns to enlighten them. So just as we are going through this process, and this is why a lot of people, when they begin their spiritual process, they realize that uh, um, each and everything, even the ants that is here, is here on its own spiritual journeys. And this is what we need to understand, that everything exists on this planet is going through through a process the trees the flowers everything the water everything the clouds everything is going through their own essential journey and when we learn to respect the ants when we first learn to respect ourselves or we respect the ants and I know the mosquito because this is one of the things is that we always have this sort of a thing with mosquitoes and that sort of a things that we're you know killing them but they're here on their own ascension journey so um, it is a month for you to think and realize that each and every animal is on this planet going through their essential journey okay there's a lot of celebration that is going to be taking place for you guys a lot of celebration because you guys have gone through an horrible period and now finally you're coming out let's look and see what other messages are here um for you guys um what other messages are here for you guys okay um, um as we look as we look as at, at what is happening um at this moment um the other message that is here is that if you um there is a situation where um you felt as if in the past as if you were a failure but you weren't a failure whatever the situation is whatever you have felt as if you were a failure you're not a failure okay this is something that you need to release from yourself some of you will be seeing the truth of a situation some of you will be looking in the mirror and seeing and seeing the truth of a situation some of you will be understanding what why you had to go through that process of you feeling as if you were a failure because you had to go through um, this process okay um, and some of you are going to be receiving help that is going to come in from someone who is a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn so some of you um, could be connecting but some of you will receive and help um, from a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn okay so um, this is um, going to be good so whoever you are and whatever is transpiring and whatever is taking place um, your life is about to change I've changed up the readings so we're going to look at the love section love section let's see what's happening in love for the ladies over 40 the liberal ladies over 40 what is happening in the love section for the liberals lady over 40 we have the Knight of Pentacles coming in for you. We have the Queen of Pentacles also coming in for you. Okay, so for the ladies over 40, we you could be connecting with the Knight of Pentacles or um, uh, and um, and if you are a same sex partner, you be could be connecting with the Queen of Pentacles. So you have the energy. Of the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, and whatever um, is transpiring, um, whatever the conflicts was, whatever the lies that has been told is now. Um, if you were in a relationship with this person and this sort of a thing, whether um, um, you're in a same-sex relationship or you were in a relationship with someone who is a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, and as you notice, they both come in together. So whatever um, well, that was going on, because uh, some of you women are connected to a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, and there was a lot of lies that was told. There was a lot of lies that was told. There was a lot of situation. There's a lot of things that was said. A lot of lies that was told. 
um, this is now coming um, to an end if you're in a same-sex relationship with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn it's the same thing whatever the situation whatever the lies and a backstabbing and that sort of a thing that has transpired is going to now come to an end okay so whatever the relationships that you and it, 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 it is for people who either are married or connected or have relationships with these people because they they came up right behind each other um, you know there's a lot of stuff that is going on um, it's going to come to an end okay and this is going to be good so let's look at the energy for um, the uh, king of sword this is the man over the age of 40 let's look at the situation for the man over the age of 40 what is happening for the men over the age of 40 you liberals over the age of 40 okay for you liberals over the age of 40 there is going to be an end coming in uh, and um, there is going to be an end coming into your relationship um, for some yeah there's going to be a trap some people are going to have an end some people are going to have a transition okay so um, someone could be breaking up with you liberals or um, you could be breaking up with someone um, but there is going to come an end for someone it's going to be a loss and um, and then there is going to be a judgment call like oh my god I didn't see that coming in okay so um, you live you liberal men um, that are in relationship you know you could be fooling your wife or your partner for a very long time and they are going to see what is happening and you could end up with a loss as you could um, because there is going to be a judgment call and whenever the judgment call with the star is as if uh, this trans this transformation that is happening um, is divine um, is a divine intervention on the whatever that was happening that needed to stop and come to an end so you are going to be receiving messages and you're going to be seeing that you know whatever it is and the transition could be coming in with somebody the end of a relationship could be coming in with an Aquarian okay so you men um, for the men who are with an Aquarian um, this transition is uh, is going to be something for you because um, the, the, the transition is going to like bring you to a, um, a wake-up call it's like a wake-up call that is going to be coming in for you because it is as if um, this ending is going to bring a loss in your life it's as if um, something um, transpired and this is going to really bring an end to a relationship in your life and um, the energy of the star has to do with um, the energy of uh, um, the Aquarians okay so there is going to become an, an ending so if you are uh, married or in a relationship with an Aquarius there is going to become an ending to this uh, situation okay this relationship if um, you're married to um, a Pisces you are going to be receiving some um, you know some people could be leaving the Aquarius for the Pisces and it could be a soul connection okay this could be um, a judgment call so something whatever is happening there is an ending with an Aquarius for the people who are with Aquarius and having relationship with the Aquarians there could be an ending and some of you could be connecting with a Pisces and this is going to be a good start okay um, as we um, uh, move forward um, we are going to be looking at um, the people between the ages of 18 the people between the ages of 18 and 40 to see what is going to happen 
the people between the ages of 18 and 40 what's going to happen to their relationship what is going to happen in their relationship so we have the energy um, the people between 18 and 40 they're in you know you guys are in a roller coaster um, it can be a relationship that you're trying to balance out your emotions some of you are going to feel as if um, you know you're out in the cold especially the single people that's how you're feeling at this moment but not to worry about this um, there is going to be a transition and this transition is going to bring a stability um, in your life whatever um, this is going to end okay you feeling out of it and you feeling out of place and that sort of a thing is going to be ending in your life and uh, um, if you felt alone and out in the cold this is going to be ending in your life and there is now going to be a good strong stability that is coming back in your life so this is very good this is very positive because what is happening and what is transpiring is that you guys are going to be um, releasing yourself from um, you know like situations that you have in your relationship and think you know and you're going to realize that you know I really have a good relationship and um, this is going to good so the singles who felt alone and that sort of a thing there's coming to an end because something um, someone new is coming in your relationship and it's going to bring you stability in your world so this is nice this is happiness this is good please remember to listen to your Sun moon and rising sign and I'm asking each and every person please to like shares and thumbs up these videos uh, please share these videos listen to your Sun moon and rising sign because this is going to be uh, very important for you guys namaste until next time